In this video, we will troubleshoot a wet ceiling under a bathroom. In this case, a very common leak presented as something unusual. Be sure to watch to the end for a classic plumber's pro tip. Let's get at it. We are in the living room of a two-story twin home in Philadelphia, and we have all kinds of water on the ceiling. The worst water stains are over here by the party wall. But as you can see from this video, we have water stains in multiple areas and in multiple directions. Our plan today is to cut out the ceiling where it is the wettest and try to figure out what is going on. We're gonna cut a little access panel through the sheetrock to see the plumbing under the tub. And we're gonna put a straight line on the ceiling so we don't disturb the crown molding. So our first access hole is cut and the wettest part of the ceiling happens to be right under the drain of the tub. This sheetrock is saturated. For the next step, we cut out all the damaged sheetrock, we cleaned everything up, and so far it looks like we were able to save the crown molding. Once the ceiling is open, the first odd thing we see is the P-trap under the tub. It looks like the person that installed this tub made a P-trap out of two elbows with a piece of PVC in the middle. That's really not a good idea when you consider water is going to be laying on these two joints 24-7. If you could not fit a PVC trap in here, a one-piece rubber P-trap would have been a much better choice. The full length of this tub is wet on the bottom, so that does explain why we have water stains in between different floor joists in our ceiling downstairs. So now we just have to try to find the location of the leak. This is a video of the bottom of the tub during a shower. Water appears to be leaking from multiple areas. We did determine to have two leaks. The first one was easy. The drain was leaking from inside the tub. The blue line indicates where leak number one was. Leak number two, although very common, was a little trickier to find. The plastic assembly of the tub overflow was completely broken. That sounds like a simple fix, but this is what made it difficult. This whole bathtub has half inch insulation board glued to it. Water that was leaking out of the tub overflow made its way behind this insulation and was coming out at the bottom of the tub around the drain. In this photo of the back of the tub with the overflow removed, you can see where the insulation starts and stops, and you can also see where the water was making its way behind the insulation. So we really started our repair by getting the whole drain assembly set and we changed the drain inside the tub with fresh new putty. When cutting out the old overflow, we opted to use a coping saw because the water supply lines were so close. While the ceiling was open, we also replaced that homemade P-trap. I hope this video was helpful. Please leave any comments or suggestions how to make it better. Now let's get to that pro tip. While we were taking out the tub drain, we accidentally ripped out the whole middle of the drain. It was just old and falling apart. Once that broke, the drain wrench that you see pictured there was no longer gonna get this drain out. So to get our drain out, we grabbed the grinding wheel and we grinded two little notches on either side of the drain. And with those notches, we were able to get a grip on the drain again with some screwdrivers and get that thing spinning. And we were able to get it out without damaging the pipes below. And we'd like to send a special thank you out to Mike the Plumber for teaching us that pro tip. Please leave a comment and let us know how you remove your broken tub drain. We'll see you next time.